Okay, <clears throat> I have a Sony S40 here. Um, it was hacked. Um, but right now, the first thing I notice how stiff the wires are. This is a really bad idea. Um, these wires are stiff; they'll pop off. Um, I mean, when you solder them on, this this stuff's stiff. I mean, if it moves, it's going to pop right off your solder where you soldered to. The other thing I notice, I see some cracks. The LCD. Uh, we're going to power it on. It's uh, not put together. Separated. Um, we're going to put batteries in. See what happens. So we're going to try to repair this camera. See what happens. And as you can see, it powers on. The lens does come out, so that's good. But I do have a broken screen. We'll replace that screen and see where we're going to end up. Um, pull the batteries out. Separate the camera. Yep, there is a screw in there. Okay, I do have a screw in the memory chip holder. Remove that. Now that we get this thing apart, we got it apart. We can see visible scratch or cracks in the LCD. And we'll look it over. This is bad. Um, where the motor was on, this should be taped. Um, first thing I'm going to do is remove this and try to get back to where it can work without the hack and then I can rehack it. So we're going to remove that. Now we're going to remove the front. Let's undo this ribbon. Now when we put this wire in for our S40, this is a really not a very good solder job. Um, probably did work though. There's a big clump there. Um, this wire, when we put this wire, you can tell it was hitting we got to make sure there's two holes here. We need to make sure that wire is away from those two holes. So, I'm definitely not going to be using this wire again, so I'll remove that wire. And I've stated before, when we desolder this, we need to tape that. Or that could short out on us. Um, no use to ruining a good camera or knocking a fuse out. So we're going to tape that up. First, and we'll get that out of the way. And as a, what I'm going to do is get this thing back to working without the hack. That way I can troubleshoot troubleshoot the problems. Um, usually it only takes a little bit of solder. Got that right off of there. Now, since I'm going to do that, since I'm going to take this back to regular, I'm going to move this, because this is set for a fast hack. I'm going to move that back over and make this switch, because I want it to work normally. Um, the other thing I want to do, since I'm here, is there's two little tabs right there. There's this one. Now I'm going to cut them off because they kind of help cause a little bit of a problem that's common with an S40, and that's the white screen. So we're going to remove that. That's out of there. We'll put that aside for now. Now, to uh, replace the LCD, well, I think I might be able just to replace the LCD. I'm not sure yet. Um, we're going to uh, we got to move the LCD holder. So there's two little catches. A catch here. Just push down on that, and we can pop the. the uh, 
card reader down. Now I can put my finger underneath that clip and I can pull that LCD out of there. And to hold the LCD and there's two clips on each side and you push this LCD over we can remove it. So there my uh, LCDs off and out. Okay, I have a, another LCD to replace in the spot. I'm just going to put it on there. Get the clip. Back screen doesn't appear to be broke. So I want to push it into that little, it's not going to cooperate for me so I'm going to have to use a pair of you know, as we get her in there, and there are my LCDs we placed. Put my card reader on. If this doesn't stay like that, you'll might need to move that little tab in. And as you can see, this is a, a really bad hack. Um, as you can see, they melted the blue wire. That's a real big problem. And you can see where I'm talking about the uh, stiff wire. That pulled right off his hack. And that's what happens. That wire will move around and it will pull off and it's no good. Um, we're going to remove that. Uh, I'm not sure if this camera is going to be repairable at this point. So remove that wire and we want the hack out of there. Now what I'm going to have to do, is we're going to have to clean that up. But that connector is really, really bad. And as you can see too, on this, we don't want to, uh, at least scraped all the way up in here. We don't need to do that. And it weakens the connector. Um, I, I'm surprised this thing powered on. On another note, you can also see how much he didn't, just the heat off of 30 watt iron will do that. He didn't have to hit it with the iron, just the heat off of 30 watt iron will melt this blue ribbon. And I've numerous told this over and over again, not to use a high temp iron. And this is what, what happens when people use a high temp iron. And I have no idea what that stuff is. Okay, I'm pulling out the power bar, put another one in, just snap it on there, and take my blue ribbon, put it back in. That's where the nice little needle nose comes in, real good handy. A lot of times you pick them up pretty cheap. Um, so we're getting there, we're getting everything undone. I'm not sure if it's going to work, that connector's rough. We're going to have to go in and maybe uh, work on that connector a little bit, see if we can clean it up. But we're going to see if power it on, see what happens. So I pull this this ribbon back. We're going to snap her together. And the button, the slide's ripped off the top. That happens by not making sure your, your uh, selector is all the way over and your, you know, the switch is all the way over to connect it to. Well, we got a working LCD now. Let's see what happens. I'm on uh, review, but our selector's broke, so I'm going to have to slide that selector somehow. And I get a, an Aris's power camera on and off, but you might get that just by sliding that over. Up too far now. I'm on video mute. Up 
Well, oh man, I'm either too far. Oh, there we go. Hey, we took a picture, so that's a pretty good, more than I thought we were going to get. Well, since I'm that far, we can replace that board now with the broken switch. And we'll go over that here in a second. Okay, now, <clears throat> we took a picture, so I'm going to go that far and say we got a camera I can do something with. Um, but the switch up here is broke. We need to replace it. So we're going to remove this back board. And first we're going to do is take that for the backlight ribbon off. Then we're going to <clears throat> then we're going to take our focus mechanism ribbon off, and now we need to take that holder back off we put on earlier for our our memory card slot, and we're going to have to unhook our LCD, pull it up. Now there's another ribbon that's connected to that back board. And it's right here. We need to pop that ribbon up. We're going to remove that ribbon and we'll be able to put it back on then. Um, you'll also need to, to disconnect the uh, mic wire, which is right up here. I already had it disconnected from doing the power bar and put it back in. So now I can pull the LCD off. There's a clip up here, clip down here. And I can remove this board now. And I have a replacement for it. Okay, I got my replacement board. Which even has an LCD on it. Lay that in there. We need to hook. Get right where the USB goes into. And we need to hook that spot up there. Right here. Oh, there we go. Now we clipped all the way down. Okay, now what we got to do. Uh, kind of thought I was in there, but I'm not. I need to make sure, and I didn't. At this bottom ribbon, there's a channel right there. I wasn't in there, so now I gotta reset it. Uh, wants to pop out of there. And now we're down. Now what I do with this ribbon, this is a tough ribbon. And I just stick it in there. Try to make sure it's centered. And I push down with my fingernail, make sure it's down all the way. We don't want to tear the ribbon. We do want to make sure it's down. Now I can put my LCD ribbon in. And we're getting back together. Now I need to put my backlight Now, as you can see, I have a little switch here now. I'm going to also need to hook up my focus mechanism. And now I'm back together. My board's replaced. Okay, now, like I said, pull that back. Now, I noticed something here, just as I was putting this thing back together, and I really don't understand why this was done. So I'm going to take this back apart. Ah, my. 
lens assembly stayed in the camera. Let's pull that back apart. Let's get you back where you're supposed to be. Now I noticed something while I was just happened to notice, look down and noticed it. On this front cover, I, I don't understand why this was done. Because the, mo the motor, the, the lens cut drive motor is disconnected. And what happened to notice when I was putting that back in, and that there's tape on here. So someone tried to do two methods. I'm not too sure why. There is a method of uh, putting scotch tape on this and cutting it out with an X-Acto knife. But you got to be careful what you're doing. For one, you can ruin the, the ribbon, or and you can also, if you don't cut it right, it may not function properly. So we removed that tape all out of there. We're going to put it back together. I'm not real sure why they did both methods. Um, okay, let's see if we got a working camera. Well, we power on. That's a good sign. Lens comes out. We take a picture. So, I'm pretty sure this camera can be hacked and worked. Um, well, so I'm going to hack it and see how it turns out. But there's a, a just a little bit of troubleshooting on some of the problems that you can find with hacks on a S40 and try to avoid them. Um, that stiff wire is really, really bad idea. Um, I just can't stress uh, how, how much of a bad idea that is. And when I put this front cover back on, this is what I was saying, this little switch got broke. And I put that switch all the way to the left, and when I put this thing together, I want to put it on to view pictures. And I put this together, I'm not going to break that switch. Um, I hope this helps somebody troubleshoot their camera and how, how certain things... Um, with a hack can really cause a lot of headaches. Now, I did replace a lot of parts on this camera to make it work, but we got it working.